Today I'm going to show you a little bit of the rescape that I've done on the Ziggler tank so far. Do notice that next week I'll actually be adding more things to this tank. New rocks, new fish, new plants, many things like that. So um, yeah, I'm just going to go over the quick little update right here. Um, so you guys can see what will happen. And I'll explain to you what I'll do in a future video. So. Right here um, is a lot of lava rocks and I've always loved lava rocks mainly because they have this red texture and they have this, um, you can see here that they have a lot of cracks, a lot of small valleys, things like that and I think it looks really really good and um, I think that lava rocks are really good for African cichlids because they're very easy to stack, they're very natural they're very, um, you know, colorful, and I think that that is an important thing that you get a lot of um, colors into your uh, African cigarette tank. Excuse me for that, by the way. But um, you know, they have, um, I have just rescaped this tank with my dad today, and uh, we started out with buying some rocks. Um, it was really, really cheap. You could get one kilo of rocks for about like, what was it like? three dollars three dollars for a kilo uh, which is about two pounds so you know that is kind of crazy so i could like for two pounds of lava rock i could get those for three dollars so in total there is 10 kilos of lava rock right here and um you know there was um 30 30 dollars and uh, it's really really cheap and uh, I'm going to buy some more, but we wanted to kind of like take it slow and don't buy too much um, so that we're sure that we can get the aquascape right, we can get some right rocks that looks good and things like that. And um, other than that, I've taken my old Java fern right here and I've just put it in this spot right here and that will keep growing because it, it has actually grown pretty well and uh, I've just attached it to the lava rock right here and it looks really really good. I'm going to add some more java fern and I'm thinking of getting some java fern over this area over here maybe some over here as well but um, a unique little thing that I think you guys will like um, is that I will do a very different African cichlid tank because the aquascape is going to be much more different than many other people do and first of all I'm not thinking of putting any other rocks over this area right here mainly because I think this area looks really good and with a big javelin right here and a big javelin right there it'll kind of be like a jungle for the fish to hide in which I really think is a good idea um, then a little unique thing that I'll do is that I'll get some wine roots and um, you know I'll boil them so that they don't really you know lower the pH as much and I'll basically out of these holes right here um, the one right there the one right here one right there maybe over here somewhere I will put the roots down on the sand so that it looks like there's coming roots off out of the rocks and I think that will look really really good then I'll add a um, sort of high uh, lava rock right here um, I'm not sure about it but I think I'm going to get a pretty tall one and maybe I could stack some over here but I don't really like the idea of stacking, stacking that much um, mainly because you know, I think I have enough caves right now. I actually got two caves in this tank for now. Behind this big rock right here, there's a huge cave where the, the Synodontis always hides in. And then over here, there's also a cave. So there's enough caves for the fish to hide in and, you know, stuff like that. And um, for the fish and the choices that I'm going to, to pick is that um, I want some more Tanganyika cichlids. I'm going to say that right away. I love Tanganyika cichlids. And if you saw my Blue Planet video, you saw the amazing Tanganyika tank that had some really cool Tanganyikans in there. And uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm probably going to get rid of my Kenya. Um, although he's my pride and joy in this tank, um, or at least one of them next to my Frontosa. You know, he's pretty aggressive and he pretty much nips everything that he can come close to. And that's what a Kenya does, that's how their nature is, but I'll see if I can get some, uh, some good money for this guy. If I can sell him to someone who really wants one, that would be great. Um, if I could sell it to a Kenya species only tank, 
or maybe I could sell it to somebody that breeds them. That would be beautiful because this guy is amazing. His colors are just like crazy. So I can probably get a little bit more money for this guy. And uh, he's also very big. So um, and instead, I'm going to get a very big Lolipi cichlid because that is one of my favorite cichlids. I'm probably going to get some CFRS, a Victorian, maybe a new peacock. And so a lot of new things will come up guys and it will, it's going to be amazing and I think this tank will turn out really really well and I actually already think it looks pretty good but it's not quite what I want it to be yet but um, now the tanks, the tank lights on the software reef is off now but um, when the next week comes, which is probably like Tuesday, uh, Wednesday or Monday I'll basically come and buy some uh, cloggy clownfish, some very small cloggy clownfish from my reef tank and that's from the same store that I'm going to buy the wine roots um, I've actually reserved some um, some clownfish um, because uh, I asked out there like how long have they been out here and they said that they came out yesterday so I really don't want to buy fish that are newly transported because if you buy fish that are newly transported that's for cichlids as well um, they can't really tolerate the transporting, especially the saltwater fish, and they'll get parasites, they'll get diseases, they'll get stressed, everything will hop on them, and it's just not going to be very good. So, um, I, I got a goby, a sand sifting goby, and if you guys have not seen my saltwater reef video, you can go check that out. But I got a sand sifting goby, a sleeper goby, he has been making a huge sandstorm in the tank. Um, so has my synodontist by the way, they've created some sandstorms in here which create crazy little bastards but um, you know um, they have created a huge sandstorm uh, or well he has and um, he has been, I actually bought him because he has been in that store for three weeks so he is healthy and he's doing very well so that is very good hope I don't get any parasites like last time but I think I know the reason why I got parasites so I got everything under control um, and uh, I would like to hear you guys' opinions on which cichlids I should get for this cichlid tank because I know you guys love this cichlid tank and I got many many subscribers for this fish tank and I know you guys just love this tank and you have always done that and I, I really appreciate that and I always get a lot of questions, a lot of private messages from making new videos in the cichlid tank and a lot of new videos will come up in the cichlid tank now I'm motivated to make freshwater videos again and I'm ready to give you guys some more information about African cichlids so you guys should stay tuned for that and you know yeah I just want you guys opinion on which cichlids I should get because I could I could I have some some thoughts about some cichlids that I would like but I, I also want your guys opinions because um, I really want one of you guys to actually say a cichlid that I could get and if there are more multiple people that say that specific cichlid I'll probably get one, so that will be a viewer choice, and I think that's a really cool idea, so you can say what um, what fish you want in this tank, because i really like to know your guys' opinions, and you know, I want it to be a viewer tank, because I want you guys to enjoy this tank, I want you guys to, you know, see this tank often, and I, I really want you guys to like it, so... You know, for now, I'm liking it myself, which of course is most important, but, um, you know, I want your guys' opinions, as I said many times now. Um, so yeah, I'll just give, give you a quick overview on how the cichlids are doing. Right here, see very healthy cichlids. The Frontosa is doing fine, this guy's doing fine, Kenya is doing fine as well, he's always been doing fine, just, he just killed a lot of cichlids, sadly. And then the Blue Alley is doing fine as well. Why is there else? This guy, this guy, I think I showed that guy late, um, earlier. The uh, Pleco is doing fine too. He's just chilling. The Synodontis are doing fine as well. And the Yellow Lab is doing fine as well. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, see you guys in another video.